Does the gentleman from Mississippi rise? Mr. Speaker, unanimous consent to address the House for one minute to revise and extend my remarks. Without objection. Mr. Speaker, I'm not a fan of government mandates, and neither are my constituents in Mississippi. But there is one mandate that the people of Mississippi sent me to Washington with, to repeal, replace, dismantle, delay, and defund Obamacare. I've heard from families, small businesses, and hardworking Americans across my district who all have the same message. This law is a train wreck. That is why one of my very first votes in Congress was to repeal Obamacare. That's why I voted to repeal it nearly 40 times over the last three years. That is why I introduced a constitutional amendment to restore the right of the American people to refuse this bad law. That is also why I firmly believe we must defund Obamacare in a continuing resolution this body will take up later this year. I believe this is a fight worth fighting for Mississippi, and I believe it's a fight worth fighting for the American people. I'm calling on my colleagues to join me in this fight, to stand strong, to stand together, and let's defund Obamacare. I yield. The gentleman yields. For what purpose does the gentlelady from New